So you're thinking about getting a patent search, either doing one yourself or commissioning someone to do one for you. Well, there's two circumstances when you should not perform a patent search. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a patent attorney and patent searches can be extremely useful. For example, they can identify prior art patents before spending money on a patent application of your own. They can help you write better patent claims and help you with your product design by suggesting new features. They can give you confidence about the novelty of your invention and also signal to investors that what you're doing, what you're working on is truly novel. But there's two circumstances when a patent search is a really bad idea. The first circumstance is when you're already manufacturing a product. If you're already in manufacture, if you have a product in the marketplace, don't go looking for trouble. Why would you go and search for patents that are already published or already in force? Likely you'll find something that's close. It'll be confusing and distracting. And there's no point in, in actually knowing about patent infringement at that point. In fact, if you have, a, have actual knowledge of patent infringement, it could cause punitive damages or enhanced damages in the future if you do get sued for patent infringement. So if you're in manufacture, don't spend time looking for patents that you might already infringe. The second circumstance when you don't want to do a patent search is during a financing. Oftentimes investors will come to you and say, before we invest in your company, we would like you to do a freedom to operate search. That is, we'd like to have you search the patent landscape to see if there's any blocking patents that will keep you from executing on your business plan. Now, the problem with these freedom to operate searches is that you'll actually never know if you've completed the search or not. It's impossible to know whether you've actually searched every possible patent and every possible application. And second of all, if you do find something, often it's hard to know whether it's blocking or not. It's just confusing. It's distracting to you. It's distracting to the inventor and uh, the investors. And at minimum, it's going to reduce the value of your investment. If they want a freedom to operate search, they should perform the search themselves. They should hire a patent counsel and go out and do their own freedom to operate search but it's important that they not tell you about the results of their search. Ask them not to share their search results with you. Because if in fact they do find something that's confusing or distracting, not only will it affect the value of the investment for them, but will, it will also affect the value of the investment for future investors because you will be, you'll have to share those, those search results, that freedom to operate search uh, report with future investors. So if investors come to you and want freedom to operate search, invite them to do their own search, but not to share that search results with you. Okay, that's really all I have to say about patent searches in this video. If there's other examples of reasons not to do a patent search, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you on the next video. Bye.